All right, guys, welcome back. Bit of a wet one out here, bit of a damp one overall. Not really a pleasant day, but hey, we're out here making the best of it. This behind me is the newly built sawmill shack, and this right here is the newly built log platform or log bunks. That back there is the newly built log offcut bunks. What I'm doing today is one additional thing, and it's going to make my life a lot easier, especially when this white stuff here on the ground sticks around a little bit longer. Today, believe it or not, it's like eight degrees Celsius, but just two days ago, we got like five or six or eight inches of snow and it was like negative 10. So we're going to get this white stuff and it's going to stick inevitably. What I'm going to do is something that's going to help me when I'm out here with the snowmobile. Not going to lie, I had the snowmobile out yesterday. I'm sort of getting the, uh, sort of getting the itch scratched here, but I'm going to be having it out quite a bit in the winter time because that's one of the only ways I can get around this property. As you guys just saw, a lot of these trails are pretty remote and ups and downs and curves and bumps and all that type of stuff and the snowmobile gets over that the best so when i get out here with that snowmobile and inevitably i use it to drag logs i want a way to get it from the ground the logs up onto the log bunks i got two pythons here maybe little garter snakes but they don't lift uh well they don't lift logs like they used to so i got to get some help here some mechanical advantage now if you guys lived in this part of the world up here in central ontario canada you would quickly understand that we can get a pile of snow in a very short amount of time and so despite my best efforts to get my tractor out here and get this big runway and all my little trails all cleared up it's just not going to happen let's face it this atb coming out here today this is even going to be getting stuck Four-wheel drive, big knobby tires, that will get stuck out here when the snow becomes deep enough. So I gotta have a way to use the snowmobile to do my logging. When I say logging, I'm not talking about a big commercial operation. I mean just collecting logs from out in the bush, bringing it here to mill into lumber. I'm gonna get some mechanical advantage today. I'm gonna start off with this ladder. I'm gonna head on up there. I'm gonna take this chain and I'm gonna try to string it from tree to tree. Why, you might ask, is because that's gonna then allow me to hook up a come along or a well in my case a chain fall in order to hook onto logs and pull from the ground here right up to the top of these bunks that's my goal at least that's what i got swirling around up in my head i'm hoping it's going to work i don't see why it wouldn't that chain or that uh, tree isn't really the biggest but i think it'll do for now i think we'll get the chain up there we'll hook the chain fall to it and we'll see how we make out and maybe we'll rig up one of these logs and see if it's actually going to work Anyways, that's sort of how, how uh, things roll around here. You get an idea up in your head and you try to put it into action. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and hey, I'll show you either way. Anyways, glad you guys are here. Let's give her a go.
Well guys, what do you think? Does it look kind of Mickey Mouse or what? I think it looks all right. Now I realize I'm not going to be hauling big honking logs up here because that tree there isn't overly big. I don't know, maybe it's with my, my palm there, but it's definitely going to help, especially when I can't get the tractor out here, which is going to, which is going to happen. This, uh, this chain fall, I think it's good for two tons, but I can tell you that tree there is not good for two tons. What I might end up doing just to strengthen this whole, whole unit up here is I might run another chain or strap from that tree back to a big one back there. And I might do the same thing on the other side. That, uh, that might just give me some, some security there. Other than that, I think it looks pretty good. I may also, until the actual weather hits where I'm gonna need this thing, I may actually just take the chain fall down just cause I don't want it to sit up there and get all rusted to heck. Anyways, that's just about it. I think uh, that idea turned out pretty well. Wasn't overly difficult. If you guys can see way up there, I don't know if you can or not. Let's sneak on over this way. You guys see way up there? I went ahead and put just some, some leftover chunks of wood in there in between the chain and the tree, just so the chain doesn't mar up the tree too bad. I think this one's gonna be coming down eventually anyways, as you guys can see, see that right there? That's where the old sawmill shelter was leaned up against it. So it's uh, definitely got some problems. It's not overly straight, but it's doing a job right now. So leave her standing. And just while I got you guys there, let's just walk around and have a look at the tarps on the building and see how we made out. So these are those new tarps I put up recently. And uh, yeah, check out that video in the playlist if you wanna see more about that. But more or less, they kept out the weather and we duck our head in there they actually look like they kept out the weather weather pretty well we'll go around back and have a look in a moment you can see where the snow is sort of kept away from the building and it tends to fall somewhere in here that probably is a result of the overhang on the roof this side the snow has been kept away from the building which is nice looks like the tarps are still in one piece and if we make our way around back here the snow is starting to curl off the roof there see the, see the curling that happens that happens with all steel roofs when the snow gets shed and you can see down below where the snow has fallen. This is going to pack into pretty much concrete once we get any decent snow. In reality, if I could have made that overhang just a little bit further, probably would have been ideal. Is it a big deal? I don't think so. I may just put a little piece of steel just to deflect the snow away from the building a bit. I may not. We'll see what ends up happening. Anyways, if we look around back here, you guys can see the snow is non-existent up there. It actually did not melt. It actually fell off the roof and it compacted uh, right there at the bottom. Looking at the back here, it looks like we, uh, we made out pretty well. There's no snow or any of that in there. Might be a little bit from my boot right there, but overall there's nothing in there except the dust and all my equipment, so that's pretty good. I think we fared pretty well. You guys would have seen this the odd, uh, the odd video ago. This is the off cuts that I built a rack for. I'm gonna get those sawed up here shortly. And I got some cleaning up to do, so. Overall, I think we made out pretty well with our, our tarp edition and our light edition and our op cut edition and our log bunk edition. I think we made out pretty well. I gotta get back out here and cut some wood, but first I gotta get some wood. And so we're heading back to the bush here right soon. But before we do that, I got one additional thing I gotta do in order to get this sawmill in operation. Hold on. Well guys, have a look. The Hillbilly Hideout version 2.0. That sign right there, courtesy of my dad, pretty much is the icing on the cake. Next time around, I'm heading back to the bush. I'm getting the chainsaw fired up, bringing some logs back to my sawmill to make them back into lumber. The process starts again. Guys, I appreciate you all being here. Check out the playlist for the entire build on this thing, and I'll see you all next time.